Nebulas, probably one of the most beautiful phenomena in our interstellar space. Some nebulas are created by a supernova. Some nebulas actually give life to new stars. These beautiful and gigantic clouds of dust and gas are breathtaking. Fortunately, these magnificent wonders of existence do not remain a secret. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can enjoy them with our own eyes. You don't want to miss anything about the latest news on the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space updates, right? So subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let's dive in quickly. Number 1. Tapestry of Blazing Star Birth this image is one of the most photogenic examples of the many turbulent stellar nurseries the James Webb Space Telescope has made so far. This portrait features the giant nebula NGC 2014 and his neighbor NGC 2020, which together form part of a vast star-forming region in the Large Magellanic Cloud. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way approximately 163,000 light years away from us. Number two, the Bubble Nebula. The Bubble Nebula, also known as NGC 7635, Sharpless 162, or Caldwell 11, is an emission nebula located 8,000 light years away. This nebula lies in the constellation Cassiopeia. The bubble is created by the stellar wind from a massive, hot, young central star. The nebula is near a giant molecular cloud, which contains the expansion of the bubble nebula while itself being excited by the hot central star, causing it to glow. Number 3. Young Stars Sculpt Gas The JWST shows one of the most dynamic and intricately detailed star-forming regions in space, located 210,000 light-years away in the small Magellanic Cloud a satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. At the center of the region is a brilliant star cluster called NGC 346. A dramatic structure of arched, ragged filaments with a distinct ridge surrounds the cluster. A torrent of radiation from the hot stars in the cluster NGC 346 at the center of this image eats into denser areas around it, creating a fantasy sculpture of dust and gas. This dark, intricately beaded edge of the ridge, seen in silhouette, is particularly dramatic. It contains several small dust globules that point back towards the central cluster, like wind socks caught in a gale. Number 4. A Reflection Nebula in Orion The James Webb Space Telescope snapped this incredible picture of NGC 1999, a nebula in the constellation Orion. This nebula is a dust-filled bright nebula with a vast hole of empty space represented by a black patch. It is a reflection nebula and shines from the light of the variable star V380 Orionis. Researchers thought that the black patch was a dense cloud of dust and gas which blocked light that would normally pass through. After research and thanks to the infrared picture from the JWST, they found out that the black patch was a cloud of immensely dense material. Number 5. The Inky Abyss Although it looks more like an entity seen through a microscope than a telescope, this rounded object, named NGC 2022, is certainly no algae or tiny blobby jellyfish. Instead, it is a vast orb of gas in space cast off by an aging star. The star is visible in the orb's center, shining through the gases it formerly held onto for most of its stellar life. When stars like the Sun grow advanced in age, they expand and glow red. These so-called red giants then begin to lose their outer layers of material into space. More than half of such a star's mass can be shed in this manner, forming a shell of surrounding gas. At the same time, the star's core shrinks and gets hotter, emitting ultraviolet light that causes the expelled gases to glow. This type of object is called, somewhat confusingly, a planetary nebula, though it has nothing to do with planets. The name derives from the rounded, planet-like appearance of these objects in early telescopes. Number 6. The Death of a Star This atmospheric image shows a dark, gloomy scene in the constellation of Gemini, the twins. The subject of this image confused astronomers when it was first studied. Rather than being classified as a single object, it was instead recorded as two objects, owing to its symmetrical lobed structure, known as NGC 2371 and NGC 2372, though sometimes referred together as NGC 2371-2. These two lobes are visible to the upper right and lower left of the frame, and together form something known as a planetary nebula. 
Despite the name, such nebulae have nothing to do with planets. NGC 2371-2 formed when a sun-like star reached the end of its life and blasted off its outer layers, shedding the constituent material and pushing it out into space to leave just a superheated stellar remnant behind. This remnant is visible as the orange-tinted star at the center of the frame, sitting neatly between the two lobes. Number 7. The Hourglass Nebula This is an image of MYCN18, a young planetary nebula located about 8,000 light years away. If you didn't know better, you'd think they edited an eye into it. This image reveals the true shape of MYCN18 to be an hourglass with an intricate pattern of etchings in its walls. In previous ground-based images, MYCN18 appears to be a pair of large outer rings with a smaller central one, but the fine details cannot be seen. Number 8. The Ghost Nebula IC63, nicknamed the Ghost Nebula, is about 550 light years from Earth. The nebula is classified as both a reflection nebula, as it is reflecting the light of a nearby star, and as an emission nebula, as it releases hydrogen alpha radiation. Both effects are caused by the gigantic star Gamma Cassiopeiae. The radiation of this star is also slowly causing the nebula to dissipate. Number 9. Cassiopeia A colorful aftermath of a violent death. A new image taken with the James Webb Space Telescope, a detailed look at the tattered remains of a supernova explosion known as Cassiopeia A. It is the youngest known remnant from a supernova explosion in the Milky Way. The new image shows the complex and intricate structure of the star's shattered fragments. Number 10, Cygnus Loop. This is an image of a small portion of the Cygnus Loop supernova remnant taken by the JWST. The Cygnus Loop marks the edge of a bubble-like expanding blast wave from a colossal stellar explosion which occurred about 15,000 years ago. Number 11, the stunning colors of the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula glows in vivid clouds of blue and yellow in this beautiful image recently made by the JWST. The Orion Nebula is located roughly 1,500 light years from Earth and stretches 40 light years across. It can be seen with the unaided eye near the belt of the three stars in the constellation Orion. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, or about 6 trillion miles, 10 trillion kilometers. The nebulous colors seen in the region of star formation are created by oxygen and hydrogen gas emission. Number 12. Uncovering the Veil Nebula This image shows a beautiful portion of the Veil Nebula, the shattered remains of a supernova that exploded some 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. The intertwined, rope-like filaments of gas result from the enormous amounts of energy released as the fast-moving debris from the explosion plows into its surroundings and creates shock fronts. The image displays two characteristic features, sharp filaments and diffuse emission. These correspond to two different viewing geometries. Sharp filaments correspond to an edge-on view of a shock front, and diffuse emission corresponds to a face-on view of it. This image is a small portion of the veil located in the western part of the veil. Number 13. A Twisted Spiral NGC 3718 is a highly disturbed spiral galaxy with an unusual warped shape that looks a bit like a plump letter S from Earth, with a thin thread of dark dust snaking through it. The view of this portion of NGC 3718 shows the sinuous, twisting dust lane in detail as it sweeps by the core of the galaxy and curves into the surrounding gas. Both the galaxy's gas and dust lane are similarly distorted into this unique configuration. The nucleus of the galaxy is extremely hard to detect in either visible or ultraviolet light because the prominent dust lane blocks much of those wavelengths. But it can be seen when viewing infrared light, which passes through dusty regions. NGC 3718, also called ARP 214, is thought to get its unusual shape from gravitational interaction with nearby galaxy NGC 3729, another spiral galaxy located approximately 150,000 light years away. Number 14, a small sombrero. The James Webb Space Telescope has allowed astronomers to view galaxies of all shapes and sizes from nearly every angle. When a galaxy is seen edge-on, the mesmerizing perspective reveals a dazzling slice of the universe. The Little Sombrero, also known as NGC 7814 or Caldwell 43, is one such galaxy. Set against a speckled backdrop of more remote galaxies, 
the little sombrero features a bright central bulge, a thin disk full of dust, and a glowing halo of gas and stars that sprawls out into space. It is roughly 40 million light years from Earth, 80,000 light years wide, and billions of years old. Thank you for watching the video. Which picture do you want to have above your bed? Let us know in the comments. If you loved watching this video, press the link and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space-related news. Have a great day, and I will see you in our next video.